Hi, in this video I'll be talking about the spark lazy evaluation and which is a really important question based on the spark and we are going to see these things in a practical way as well as in the theoretical way. So let us try to understand first what is meant by spark lazy evaluation. When we talk about the spark, the two things are always coming. The first one is transformation and second thing is action. So the concept spark lazy evaluation says unless and until action will not be called the transformation will not be evaluated. So what is mean by transformation and action? So just to understand the things I will take this example here what is happening here we are loading one file which is a text file it is stored in the desktop with the name data.txt and it is written in the RDD. Now on this RDD we are firing the transformation which is a filter option and it is checking whether the file whether the file contain line as a keyword so basically this is the file where we have a three lines and line is a keyword that we are looking for so when we find out the transformation we can we will get these two records because second record is also containing line and third third record is also containing a line so we will be getting these two record okay now once it is done we are not looking for all the records which is containing line keyword we are only looking for first record only so at last we should get this record only second record because this is the first record which contain line as a keyword now what is happening here we have a transformation and the action here and as per the lazy evaluation unless and unless and until action will not be called it means this code the transformation will not be evaluated but why it is happening because there are many times we do have a many transformation is there in the code and some transformation will be very duplicated and that are not useful so in order to run the same command or code on the two times or three times many times better you know we can skip those code and we can go with the better performance so internally it is uh, all the transformation will be tracked to the DAG, direct acyclic graph so whenever we are firing any query it is internally checking the DAG and in the optimizer optimizer is the one who will check what is the best plan to execute the query so we can have a multiple plans if one of the plan is perfectly looking good so optimizer will choose that plan by looking to the DAG only and at last we will get the result uh, efficiently uh, in a, uh, or I, I can say that with less amount of time so in one line I can say if the lazy evaluation is not happening here what will happen it will not load all the files and it will directly load only the data which is required so it will just go to the second line and it will filter out the first data it will not load the whole amount of data because we are not looking for whole amount of data we are only looking for the lines which are containing line as a keyword and the first record only so because of that only lazy evolution is really important and this is really a important question as well okay so we will try to execute this query on our spark shell let me try to open the spark shell and we will take the first line which will load the data from the desktop and on the desktop we have a data.txt file so this is the file which is available on the local file system
okay it is opening the spark shell uh, so whenever we are firing the spark shell it, first of all it will take some time to load and after that we can go ahead so first of all we are going to load the data.txt and then we are calling to the transformation which is a filter operation and from the filter data we are only looking for first line so rdd dot first this is the same rdd that we are using and this is the action the time when we are calling this action only the time on the only on the same time this transformation will be performed so we have we need to load the data okay this is done we have loaded the data and we are using the transformation and at last we are filtering the data so this is how here we got the second record this is the second line of data and i can show you here this is our requirement we, we need the record which contain line as a keyword but we don't want two lines we only need a first record so because of that only we have mentioned the action as first so this is called the lazy evaluation which is mainly useful for the performance of the spark and because of that only you will find the performance of the spark is quite uh, good when uh, as it is using this uh, lazy evaluation concept one more thing which i want to highlight here this is if i'm putting the wrong file here like data1.txt which is not available then also it is taking because on the time unless and until we are not calling to the action the transformation will not be happened so now we have loaded the file which is not exist but still we have not got any kind of the error message second thing is we are calling to the transformation let's call to the transformation so we have called the transformation still we have not got the any kind of the error but now i am going to call the action which will check for the dag and dag will refer to the all the transformation okay so now we have got the message saying input file does not exist this is what i was trying to explain here unless and until action will not be called there is no use of the transformation so we have called this action once we have called the action it was checking what are all the transformation we have now here we he, here it found that the file which we have provided is not it is not exist and we got the error message so if there are few trans uh, transformation which are you know duplicate and which are not needed to be evaluated it will skip those it will skip those uh, uh, transformation